एस डी के डाउनलोड जीसीपी नाउ यू यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन Install the Google Cloud CLI, which is a command line interface. You can click on this. Here, like this, it is going to open for you from the Google Cloud. So here you can see the option called. Just a minute. Here you can see the option called Linux, Ubuntu, or Mac, or Red Hat, or Windows. My system was a Windows, so I'm going with the Windows. So you can see the option called Google Cloud CLI installer. Click on this. Now you can see the downloader. It was downloaded, right? Now I'm going to install this. So I'm going to next. I agree. Single user, or you can use the please select install type. You can go with the single user, or you can go with the all users. You can go with any of the this. For example, I'm going with the all users. Next. Yes, where you want to install the path, it is going to show. Next, next, so as you can see here, the Google Cloud command line interface has been installed. So, click on the next, finish. So, after completioning of Installing your cloud SDK in your local machine. Go to your taskbar and search Google Cloud SDK like this. It is going to show in your local machine. Open this. Now it is going to open you the Google Cloud command line interface. Here I am going to type the command like G Cloud or then login. So why I am going to write this command is if we execute this command. Then it is directing you to the Google Cloud for the authentication. Okay, after authentication only we can interact with the resources through the Cloud SDK shell. Every time you have to do this authentication process. Okay, click on Enter so that it will direct you to the browser. Like this, it is going to direct it to directed you. So you can see this is my Google account. Uh, sorry, Google account which is linked to the Google Cloud. I am going to select this one. Here you can see. Make sure that you trust your Google SDK. Yes, I'm going to allow. Now you can see the authentication was completed. Now you authenticated with the G Cloud command line interface. Okay. Now come back to your Google Cloud SDK. Now you can see you are now logged in through which account through this account. Okay, that you remember. Next one, which project I was selected? You are currently project is none. No project I was selected up to now. So to select the project, first you have to know your project ID. How you can do how you can do that is go to the command line interface. Here I am writing the command like oh, just a minute. Sorry, something came. Yeah, I am going to write like G Cloud Projects List. This is a command. I am going to click on Enter. You can see what are the projects are available in this Google Cloud in your account. You can see the project ID, the name, the project number. Okay, these are the projects which is available in our, my account. Okay, now I want to select specifically this project. Okay, so that I, what I am doing is I am going to copy this project ID. Here I am going to write the command like G Cloud. G Cloud. I'm writing G Cloud config set project. You my project ID hit the enter. Now you can see updated property. It means the project was selected. Sir, how I can know the project was selected or not? For that, what you can do is G Cloud config list. Now you can see here the account along with the account which project I was selected. Okay, which project was selected that particular project ID it is showing. Understand? Now if I want to unselect the project, how I can do that? How we can do that? Simply 
I'm going to use the command like gcloud config unset just mention like project don't mention the project id you just mention gcloud config config unset project okay then hit enter now you can see that unset property it means the project was unselected if you want to check again come to the google cloud it means g cloud config type list list enter now you can see here is any project was showing here no only the account was it is showing okay like this you can select the project okay now from the next time i'm going to use some cases i'm going to use this cloud sdk to interact with the resources okay you can interact with the bigquery also through this cloud sdk that we will see in the further videos thank you thank you for watching this video